How's it going guys, it's Kyler the How To Go123 here and today I'll be showing you guys how to use your phone's camera as a webcam for your PC. We'll be using an app called DroidCam which unlike other methods of using your phone's camera on your PC is free. This will allow you to use your phone's camera for any application on your PC whether you're going to be using it for uh, face cam for streaming, recording videos, Skype, and Discord, this will all work. So there are some limitations to DroidCam. For example, you can only record at 480p at a resolution of 640x480. Also, you can only record in an aspect ratio of 4x3 rather than 16x9. I'm actually using DroidCam to record this intro, so this is kind of an example of the final product. So let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. So to begin, let's install the DroidCam software onto our PC. So come down to the link in the description below, and once you're on this page, Go to the bottom of the page and you'll see two downloads, a download for the Windows client and a download for the Linux client. I'm on Windows so I'm going to download the Windows client. So click on it and that's going to be to this page. Now click on Droid Cam Client 6.0 and that's going to start your download. Now I'm going to drag it on my desktop just so I know where it is, just so we can access the file easier. And it's a zip file so you're going to need some sort of software to extract it. I'm going to be using WinRAR, it's probably the most common uh, extraction program out there. I'll leave a link for it in the description below if you don't have it. But anyways, right click on the file, click on extract here and uh, that's going to put this file onto your desktop. Uh, now double click on it to open it, click on yes, and this is going to start the setup for the DroidCam software. So click on next. I agree, install, and that's going to install the program. Now it's done, click on finish, hit put a desktop icon on our desktop, double click on it to open it, and that's going to open the DroidCam client here. Now let's move over to our phone and set everything up over there. So the first thing we need to do is enable developer options in our settings. So first go to your settings, scroll down all the way to the bottom to where it says about phone, now find where it says build number, and you're going to want to tap on that 10 times to enable developer mode. I already have developer mode enabled, so now I'm going to go back to the main settings screen and then find system. Now scroll down to the bottom to where it says developer options and tap on that. Now scroll down a bit and you're going to want to find USB debugging and you're going to want to enable it. Now click OK when it asks to allow USB debugging. And there we go. So now we can exit out of the settings and you're going to want to go to the Google Play Store. And you're going to want to search for an app called DroidCam. Now there's two options, there's uh, DroidCam X Wireless Pro, which is paid, but we're going to want the free DroidCam Wireless Webcam. Go ahead and install it. And now we can go ahead and open it. Click on Next, and then Got It. And then allow DroidCam to record videos and take pictures. And also allow DroidCam to record audio. Now go ahead and connect your Android device to your PC via the USB cable. So back over on our phone in the DroidCam app, tap on the three dots here to open up the settings. Now make sure that limit FPS is unchecked so we can get a smoother video feed. Now under camera, this is where you can choose whether you want to use your front facing camera or your back facing camera as your webcam. So choose front if you want to use your front facing camera or choose back if you want to use the back camera. So once you've done that, head back to the main screen and now head over to the DroidCam client on your PC. Now make sure the USB option is selected by clicking on the second button here at the top. Now make sure that the DroidCam port is the same as shown on the app. So on the app, the DroidCam port is 4747. So make sure that 4747 is set as the port on the client. Now down here, you'll see two checkboxes. Make sure that the video checkbox is checked. And you can choose whether or not you want to check the audio box if you would like to use the microphone from your phone as the microphone on your PC. If you don't want to use the microphone from your phone, you can just uncheck that, but I'll just keep it checked for this tutorial. Now hit start when you want to start streaming your phone camera to your PC. Now when you hit the start button, a command window is going to pop up on your PC. Don't worry about it. It'll just pop up for a second and it, then it will close. Also on your phone, a window is going to come up and it's going to ask you if you want to allow the connection to your PC. Make sure to click OK on that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the start button. Now on our phone, click on OK. And now you can see that the camera from my phone is now 
uh, being streamed over onto my PC. So now that our phone camera is being streamed to our PC, you'll see it in the preview window here in the Droid Cam client. You'll also see some grayed out controls here, and this is included in the paid version of Droid Cam. We don't actually have any access to them. So if you want to use Droid Cam in any program like Skype or OBS, you need to keep the client open. So just have it minimized, and let's go ahead and test out the camera in OBS. So I have OBS open on my second monitor, and uh, I'll just disable the preview real quick, just so it doesn't look all trippy. And let's add a source, so go down here to the plus button, and then video capture device to add our webcam. We'll call it phone cam, you can call it whatever you want, click on OK. Now under device, this is currently my actual webcam, but you're going to want to select this as droid cam source 3. And this is my phone camera. So you're going to want to make sure that the resolution is set as device default. I noticed when I had custom selected, it stopped streaming my webcam. So make sure device default is selected. Click on OK. So now that I've enabled the preview, you can see, you'll already see that my webcam is being used as a face cam uh, on the video. So my webcam is being successfully uh, recorded onto this video. Also, if you want to use the microphone from your phone as the audio for this video, just come down here to settings, audio, and then under mic auxiliary audio, select microphone droid cam virtual audio. Click on apply. And now the microphone from my phone is being used as the mic for this video. So a few more things to take note on in Droid Cam. If you would like to disable the preview here, you can just click this off camera button in the bottom left hand corner. That's going to stop the preview, but the uh, if I actually enable this in OBS, the uh, webcam is still being streamed onto our PC, just the preview is disabled. If you would like to stop Droid Cam altogether, you could just hit the stop button here and that will stop streaming your camera to your PC altogether. So one final thing I want to go over is using Droid Cam over Wi-Fi. I really don't like this option too much because there is quite a delay and let's say you're streaming, uh, your stream might not turn out very well. But if you, you want to use Droid Cam over Wi-Fi, you want to stream your phone's camera over Wi-Fi. Uh, in the Droid Cam client, all you gotta do is make sure that the Wi-Fi option is selected. Now under device IP, you're going to want to put in the device IP that is shown on Droid Cam. So in my case, it is uh, 192.168.1.0. One one zero. Once again, make sure the Droid Cam port is the same as shown on the app. So 4747. Go ahead and click on start. And now uh, my phone's camera is being streamed to my PC over Wi-Fi. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If it helped, leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. And I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.